Hi, I'm Seb from Booking Sync. Let me show you how to get started when you create an application for Booking Sync users. So this is our developer documentation. So as you see, that's in testing authorization. That's where we're going to start. And we will assume that you already registered your application within Booking Sync. So that's inside Booking Sync Partners. You signed up and created your app. So that might look like this. Uh, so for testing the authorization, we just make sure to use this uh, dummy redirection URL. And as well, we will look at our client ID, client secret. I just added it here uh, for the demo. As well as a private application access code. So once you have created this application, while you are still in a private um, application state, you need to install that application to your Booking Sync account. So if I now go to my demo account, and so you should have one as well to test your application development, you need to go in the apps and install that application. So you just paste this code here for private apps. So this is the code we had here. And press add private apps. Okay. Once we have this, we're going to get back to uh, documentation and see that we need to get this URL and replace the client ID by our application one. So let me get through that. So that's uh, our URL. Our client ID is this one. And let's access this URL. See what's going on. We are asked uh, to accept the different scope, so the authorization level uh, that we want to give access to. Uh, so we could customize this by using the scope here. So now I didn't mention anything, so I will get the public scope, which is a, the lowest access you can get from a consumer, from a customer. But if you need a read access to rentals, so you will see non-published rentals as well as published ones. If you need to read all bookings details, including the prices and so forth, not only the status and the booking dates, um, check this out. The custom scopes should tell you more about which ones you need. However, let's authorize our app. And now we have our authorization code. So this code is important to proceed to the step three. So the step three, we will have to, to copy that URL or um, and replace uh, the three keys we have here. So client ID, client secret, and return code. So return code is the one we just got. And using that curl uh, example here, uh, we can just make sure that we return this access token that we will be needed to then access our endpoints. So if you want to see after how to use this access token, we have the details on the introduction page uh, where we see here. So this is the famous access token. So if you replace this query by the access token, you should get back your list of rentals. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you need anything, of course, please feel free to contact us so we can walk you through. Thank you.